Today we are going to learn finite different solution for two dimensional Laplace equation. Two dimensional Laplace equation is dou square u by dou x square plus dou square u by dou y square is equal to 0 or u x x plus u y y is equal to 0. This is two dimensional Laplace equation. I repeat dou square u by dou x square plus dou square u by dou y square is equal to 0 or u x x plus u y y is equal to 0. Suppose we want to find the numerical solution of Laplace equation u x x plus u y y is equal to 0 in a bounded square region. This technique we are going to study today. We know that the region is divided into 16 small squares that is about bounded square. It is divided into region, the full region is divided into 16 small squares. Values at the boundaries are CI, I ranging from 1 to 16 and values of 9 interior mesh points are UI, I is equal to 1 to 9. That is boundary values will be CI, I will be 1 to 16 and the mesh point values will be UI, I is equal to 1 to 9. So this is how the boundary square region technique is being started. Okay, so that is 16 small squares and CI value will be getting at the boundaries and UI values will be getting at the interior mesh points. So 16 CI val C values and 9 U values you will get. You are having an example for solution. Use Leibman's iteration method to solve the Laplace equation dou square u by dou x square plus dou square u by dou y square is equal to 0 for the following square mesh points with boundary values. This is a question. So you are having the question. See, this is the uh, region is divided into 16 small squares, 4 column and 4 rows. So 4 is four, 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 16. So you will be having 16 squares. And the boundary values, it is given in the questions. Boundary values ranging from CI, right? We have discussed before that is CI, I ranging from 1 to 16. And these are the mesh points. See the intersection. Mesh points will be 9 and they are named as UI, I ranging from 1 to 9. Okay, so this is the solution. You, you are having the boundary values and from that you have to find the mesh values and then go for the solution. So I'll write here, this is C1, this is C2, this is C3, C4, C5, C6, C7, C8, C9, C10, C11, C12, C13, C14, C15 and C16. Okay. And now the mesh point values are U1, U2, U3, U4, U5, U6, U7, U8 and U9. So now we will get the box like this. You write the uh, C, val C terms and we wrote the U terms also. We know that finite difference method, many equations are there. So for finding the U5, 1 by 4 is into C15 plus C7 plus C3 plus C11. U1, 1 by 4 into C1 plus C15 plus C3 plus U5. This U5 you will get from this value, right. And U3 is equal to 1 by 4 into C3 plus C5 plus C7 plus U5. U7 is equal to 1 by 4 into C15 plus C13 plus C11 plus U5. U9 is equal to 1 by 4 into C7 plus C9 plus C11 plus U5. So you got values for U5, U1, U3, U7 and U9. Right. From these values, now find the values for U2 is equal to 1 by 4 into C3 plus U1 plus U3 plus U5. See U1, U3 and U5. 
you will get from this, this set u1, u3 and u5 before then u4 is equal to 1 by 4 into c15 plus u1 plus u7 plus u5 u6 is equal to 1 by 4 into c7 plus u3 plus u9 plus u5 u8 is equal to 1 by 4 into c11 plus u7 plus u9 plus u5 so these are the ways, these are the formulas for finding the values of u1 to u9 substitute the values of c's and u um, which you get from the calculations and then go for the solution right now we know the formulas for u1 to u9 so substituting the values you will get u5 is equal to 1 by 4 into c15 plus c7 plus c3 plus c11 substituting for uh, 0 21.0 17.0 and 12.1 by 4 you will get 12.525 and that is approximately equal to 12.5 Right, so you got the value for U5, then the value for U1 is equal to 7.4, U3 is equal to 17.3, U7 is equal to 16.2, U9 13.7 and then U2 is equal to, for this U1, U3 and U5 you are having, take the values from here and substitute 13.6. U1 is equal to 6.5, U6 is equal to 16.1, U8 is equal to 11.1. So now we got the values for U1 to U9. Next you go for the first iteration. So first iteration, right. So first iteration, again the same form. So now we are going for the first iteration. We take the values from the standard 5 point formula. Here we have to find the value again u1 to u9. So for u1, so let's take the mesh which we prepared. So in the mesh, u1's neighboring values are, say this c16, c2, u2 and u4. Understood? That is, this is u1, right? So u1's one element is c16, c2, u2 and u4. So take that values from the above equations. Here we got all the values and C value we get from the mesh and after that substituting you will get, that is I will write the formula, 1 by 4 into C16 plus C2 plus U2 plus U4. So you will get 1 by 4 into C15 value is 0 plus C2 is 11.1 .1 and U2 we get from here U2 is 13.6 so 13.6 plus U4 is 6.5 so take that 6.5 and you will get the value as 7.8 Okay, so this way you have to find the values for the rest. That is, take that. For U2, you have to take, this is U2, right? You have to take the value of U1, C3, U3 and U5. For U3, you have to take U2, C4, C6 and U6. Like that. For U9, you have to take U8, U6, C8 and C10. Up when it comes to U9, you can take the values from here. That is, you can take the previous values and then go for the substitution. Now find the value of U2. We will get 13.7. U3. Here I have to write, we have to write 1, 1. See, because it is showing that it is for first iteration, right? So U3 of 1, 17.9. U4, 6.6. .6. U5, 1.11.9. This is 11.9. 11.9. Here U4, U2, U6 and U8. U4 and U2 take this value. U4 and U2. U6 and U8 up to U5 we have not found the values for U6 U and U8 for the present iteration. Right. For that case you take the previous value. U6 and U8. U6 is 16.1 and U8 is 11.1. .1. So that value you substitute here and you will get 11.1. Same way you get U6 as 16.1, U7 6.6, U8 11.1 and U9 14.3. So after that come to the second iteration. U1 of 2. See this is second iteration. 1 by 4 into same formula you are using. Same the neighboring values. Same as in the previous case here you, you 
1 we have written 1 by 4 into C16 plus C2 plus U2 plus U4. Same way C16 plus C2 plus U2 plus U4. But only the values are going on changing. C16 and C values will be constant, remaining same. U2 and U4 we have to take from the first iteration. U2 is 13.7 and U6 is 16.4. U4. Uh, U4 is 6.6. .6. So taking the value and you will get 7.9. Same way U2 13.7, U3 17.9. So when we get these terms, go for this, else go for the previous one. U4 6.6, .6, U5 11.9, U6 16.3, U7 6.6, .6, U8 11.2 and U9 14.3. Now the second iteration is over and the first and the second iteration values are different, right? So we came to the third iteration. U1 of 3 is equal to 1 by 4 into C16 plus C2 plus U2 plus U4. C16 and C2 we get from the question. U2 and U4 we have to take from the second iteration. So substitute the value, you will get 7.9. U2 is equal to 13.7. U3 17.9. U4 6.6. U5 11.9, 16.3, 6.6, 11.2 and 14.3. This much we got. Now, you have to check whether the values are same or not of the iterations. Now, we will go for the second iteration. The values of the second iteration we got are 7.9, 13.7, 17.9, 6.6, 11.9, 16.3, 14.3, 11.2 .6, 11.3, 11.2 and 14.3. And we can see that the values are same. All the values should be same, no difference. All should be same up to you, from U1 to U9. Now you can stop the iteration and you can conclude that the iteration process is terminated because values of U1 to U9 are same for second and third iterations. That is, they are equal to the required accuracy. So this is the way how this method can be done. That is, first you have to uh, calculate the values of U's based on C values and then go for the iterations, check for the output of the iterations, check for the values of U1 to U9 for the two consecutive iterations and if any two are similar then you stop the iteration over there and come to the conclusion. That's all about this method. Hope the topic is clear. Thank you.